Hi Blender fans and welcome in today's tutorial we're going to make a quick pumpkin this is going to be a very very quick pumpkin so so I've deleted the cube add a mesh and we're going to add in a UV sphere pressing the 7 key we can actually look from the top and go in like so taking us into edit mode we press the tab key if you're not already selected we're going to actually select box select and we're going to select the faces so we're going to actually go on the top point and x to delete these faces go on the bottom one because you're now looking through the pumpkin and delete the bottom faces all right looking from the top again what we need to do now is actually go on line select and we're going to actually select these lines so one two i'm just selecting every other one it's up to you how many faces you actually put on things in blender but uh, i'm just going to actually select every other one quite simply like so like this here we go and when we've got them all selected we're just going to actually scale down so scale down what we've got we've got proportional editing here that's actually selected so we're going to scale this down like that and we have we actually change the influence ring we get this kind of shape so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a bevel to it so say press ctrl and b to actually select a bevel and we're going to have this at three and we're going to take it up to about there the reason we're doing this the actual bevel will actually make a sharp edge when we add our subdivision modifier so i've got that kind of shape let's just add in a subdivision modifier into our spanner or wrench and add a subdivision modifier subsurface modifier and as you can see we're now getting something that looks a bit like a pumpkin and add shade smooth as you can see we've got our lines and this is where you actually then use proportional editing press the tab key and we'll select this and we're going to make our shape so g and z and if we grow our inference link by rolling the mouse wheel we can actually change the shape and make that classic pumpkin shape that you tend to get i'm just going to extrude this a and s E and S just doing this twice along the same plane and then F to fill what this does is it makes these kind of lines that vanish into nothing just by doing that kind of method so we've got this now and we're going to actually select the top ring by pressing the alt key down and we're going to actually use our inference ring to actually make the shape of our top part so G and Z and we're going to pull this down into itself like that to make our pumpkin shape just like that and i'm just going to e and extrude inwards and scale but what i'm going to do is now move this up slightly because this is the start of the stalk g and z taking our influence ring right down because i want it to actually go up in the center like so e and s just to move it into there to make the actual stalks shape and g and z just to move it up like that just making our stalk shape and then i'm going to extrude in the z doing this actually means that you get this kind of shape going up the actual ring as we've got there and G and Z just to move it that little bit higher. So we've got our stalk. I'm just going to rotate this on the X just to actually change its angle slightly. Maybe scale it down somewhat and maybe fill it in now. So E and S and E and S making a small indentation. E and S and then just fill it by pressing the F key. Take your influence ring off and fill. So we've got that kind of shape and we're going to use that just to actually give us ourselves our stock. So now control and R, roll my ring round. If 
that now it's just controller now I just put a couple of loop cuts in here control R and what we can do now is actually use proportional editing to actually put a bit of distortion on our stalk so I'm just going to select the central point and G and X just to move it round like that just to give us that stalk kind of shape as you can see in our image so there you have it you've got our pumpkin but it looks a bit too uniform so that's where we get proportional editing uh, to work go into edit mode maybe take the actual uh, levels of the subdivision up to three just to get that better shape and I'm going to select different points on here and just move it about so we've got our influence ring which is controlled with our mouse wheel and I'm just gonna G just move things over to one side just to give us that pumpkin shape and you can actually distort this to your heart's content not too much distortion but uh, just to make it look that little bit more real so there we go and there you have it we've got ourselves a pumpkin and we've got our pumpkin shape quickly and easily just add a color to this new material and we're just going to make it that pumpkin color right at the end we're going to actually add a uh, a uh, in fact no we're not going to do it right at the end what we'll do is we've got that pumpkin shape and we'll call that tutorial finished in the next tutorial what we'll do is we'll add a face to this but uh, let's just finish this off because it's not got a color on the stalk so call the first color pumpkin because that's mainly the pumpkin color and we'll be using that to make a shape and let's select the top point on here and this is where you press control plus one two three just keep doing it until you've got everything selected that you want to be the stalk. Now you could split this off into another model if you so wished, but I'm just going to leave it attached and just add another colour to this and just make it a green, just to actually keep it separate for now. So I'll just dirty greeny grey. Like that. And I'm just going to assign this. You do this in edit mode, like so. So we've got our pumpkin. Right, in the next tutorial, what we'll do is we'll add the face to this, and this is just another easy way to do this. But first of all, we've got our pumpkin more or less finished. What you can do is actually apply your modifier. And as you can see, we've got quite a lot of topology there, but because we're actually using this for a quite a decent pumpkin, I think adding quite a bit of topology is not bad in this case. But if your computers are a bit slow, you can always select all and uh, unsubdivide it if you sh so wish, which is done just like this. Just to give you less topology and you don't get a lot of loss just by making the actual object a little bit simpler. But I'm just going to undo that because I want to use all the actual subdivisions because my computer can handle it. Thank you for watching this uh, quick and easy tutorial and in next time we will be making a face to actually go onto our pumpkin and then we'll add some lighting and maybe some texturing in the third tutorial. Bye for now.